Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting here with the Jackhammer, aka Brandon Jackson. Brandon, what's that? What's up? What's up? October 24th, his first professional debut. Has had 11 amateur fights. First fight as an amateur was a knockout. Jackson, tell me about this fight. What does this fight mean to you? Um, right now, man, this fight, right now, it's gonna be at the top. Top of whatever I got going on, my top priority. Um, and that doesn't mean all my fights, all, but it means all my fights to this point. Uh, I, I learned a lesson in each fight right. to build me up to this point. Um, but this fight, man, it means a lot, man. It means a lot because it's, 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 in, it's in the city. It's in Rock Hill. Um, we in our backyard. Sure. And um, I feel like man, we got I got something to prove, and as a gym, we got something to prove. So, yeah. and it's up to us to put the stamp on what we got to prove. That's right. That's right. Um, so it's up to it's, it's, it's at the top. It's priority. So, so tell me about this name, man. The, the Jack Hammer. What's up with the Jack Hammer? Man, Jack. You know what? Um, that's that's really fan made. Um, yeah. I honestly, man, like I I didn't know what nickname to go with. Um, but everywhere I go, man, I was talking about my arms. Um, uh, my power, of course, you know, when you, when you think of Jack Hammer, you think of power. Right. Um, and that's one of my traits as a fighter, okay. power. Um, that's what I came into the gym with. I just had to find out how to tool it up. Um, but, man, yeah, man, that's pretty much, man, power. You know I'm going to bring the power. So me knowing that you know I'm going to bring the power is my job to... to, to Opponent, to, I hope you listen. You hear my that? My job to make you uh, adjust to everything else I bring with the power. Right, right. Speaking of power, man, hey... We're projecting a knockout, man. The people want to see a knockout. Yeah, I know. I know. I know the people want to see a there knockout. And when I say knockout, <laughs> I mean knock all the way out. I know what people want, man. I know what people want. But as a fighter, um, every fighter want to knock out. Yeah. Every okay. fighter. Um, but when you a fighter, knockouts, it, it, it don't be as easy as the fighter make it seem. Right. Um, so as a fighter, man, and as just me as a fighter, I don't go in. I don't go in and try to be too attractive of uh, hunting down the knockout. I want to set it up. Um, and that's what you learn as a fighter. That's what the naked eye don't see. Right. Um, and we and I would like to. Uh, you know, you always want to clean them up, get them up out of there early, man. Especially as a man on man, um, ego to ego. Yeah. Uh, you want that man to feel like, man, you can't touch me, you can't deal with me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you my presence. So, um, of course, man, I always want to knock out. Oh yeah. Um, and I always wanted, I always wanted to be pretty. I always wanted to, wanted to be a setup. Um, I don't want no lucky knockout. I want to know everything I've done, and that's how I train. That's how I fight. Um, but of course, man, the job is to give the people what they want. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's what, and that's, and that's the goal. So, yeah. So, what has prepared you for this moment? I mean, I know you got, you know, history with football. Mm -hmm. um, you're definitely a people person. But what has prepared you for this moment? Man, it's a lot of things that prepared me for this moment. Um, life in general. Yeah. Um, life in general prepared me for this moment. Uh, just how I had to come up in life. Um, just the lessons I've learned and, and overcome in life um, as a child and as a man and as a teenager as well, from child, teenager to man. Um, and to now, I'm always going through different different phases and different lessons. Um, and man, sports, sports too. Uh, sports and, and just having your, your back against the wall. Um, the only difference between sports and boxing is I can't, like I play football, um, and I play football, basketball, and I ran track. Um, but boxing is an isolated sport. Right. Um, can't nobody say you in that score. No. Um, so that's, and just just training, let alone um, prepared me for this. Just being in the gym for five years prepared me for this. Um, going hard, man, going hard that won't, that, that, won't that urge. Um, that, that coming in here, man, like, a lot of people don't know, man, your, your, your biggest battles come from before the fight. And, I had two black eyes, I think three, about two or three black eyes, you know, bruised ribs. Um, but I, what I do is I take myself through hells and high water so, so fight not be easy. Like I know, when I, I know when I weigh in Friday and I step in that ring Saturday, I ain't gonna have no worries. Um, and that's because I, I know what I've done up until that point. Um, and all I'm gonna have to do is just take care of business, man, and, and, and do what I do. So, uh, but just life in general, just just being here prepared me for this moment. What is your overall inspiration? Um, overall inspiration uh, for boxing? 
Or just overall? Overall. Uh, man, my overall inspiration, man, is to um, leave a good example, good positive example. Um, and that's just with everybody, man. Not even just the children, but most importantly, the children. Right. Um, overall, a great impact on people. Um, and letting people know, man, you, you can do anything you want to do. Um, and I always, and I always, when I when I do pray to the high power, I always I always ask, let me be a blessing to a blessing, no matter what it is. Um, so and I, I like that. And I always tell people too, man, like you, you like you never know what a conversation will lead you to. Uh, so I'm glad, like you mentioned, like I'm a people person. I always wanted a people person, but um, just my overall expectation in life, man, leave a good mark on something. Um, leave my brand behind. Yeah. Um, not just make myself proud, but my kids, my family, my brotherhood. Um, so that's 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 my overall inspiration, man. Just just doing good and, and and leaving a good, solid brand behind. Now you spoke of kids. You got a little man, right? Yeah, I got a, I got a son and a daughter. Okay, so I've seen your son out here a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You know, hitting the bag, doing this thing. Do you think he's gonna fall in your footsteps? Uh, if if it, if it was up to me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it was up to me, yes. Um. And I, and I look at him, and, I, and one thing I, I don't try to push stuff on people. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I look at him, and I be like, man, like I know what we got here. Right. So when um, and then I also be like, man, like if he can come into this early. Right. I came into it. I, I turned I, like a week later. I was 24. Um. So knowing what we got, and knowing what he could be, um, and then having the right team around it. So I mean, if it was up to me, I I, I most definitely would want him in the gym. Uh. But that's something I let him figure out as he go through life. So whatever you do, um. I'm very much supporting him, but I'm definitely pushing on him. Right, <laughs> so. right, right. So how does it feel, man, when you come in the gym, man, and the kids that's in here, they look at you, and some of the other guys that's training professional mm -hmm. and having their first professional fight, they look at you guys like superstars. How does that make you feel? Man? Uh, man, it make you feel appreciated. Right. Um, it make you feel, make you feel like something you're doing is, is, is noticeable. Um, and a lot of times too, man, I come special like when I'm preparing myself for something. A lot of times I come in here and I be my my mind be in war mode, uh, especially these last couple of weeks. So it it also depends on my vibe when I come in here too and what and what type of vibe I'm on. Because a lot of times like you really just don't you really don't notice it, especially if your mind like tuned in. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then um, like perfect example. Um, I was I know one day I was sparring, and my son was in the gym. Um, and I really didn't know that he was really paying attention to me because I'm, I'm in the ring, so I'm really not paying attention to him and I'm sparring. And one thing about my son, he I can tell he was competitive like me because all he really cared about is who won and who lost. <laughs> um, but after I got done sparring, um, he was waiting outside of the ring to dap me up. And you know, of course, when you get done sparring, I win a couple of rounds. Um, and you know, you start to get fatigued, you, you go yeah, in and out. Yeah. So when I got out of the ring, and like I'm really kind of not really paying him attention, but it, it clicked to me. Even though this is my son and he see me every day, right. it clicked to me that, that he was really soaking me in and watching me in, watching me doing what I do in that ring. And then other kids, man, um, I done, like I remember I posted a video of me just training and working out, and in the background of the video it was a kid like watching my every move. So it, it's little stuff like that. Sometimes I don't notice at the moment, but it's very much well appreciated, and, I, and that's why one reason when I do get to where I want to be, my goal is to give back to these kids in here, give back to this community, let them know like hey. Like I know we come in here, cause when we come here, we go to work. Like we 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 go to work. Um, and sometimes that hard work and that drive can overpower when the kids are in here. Uh, cause a lot of times I catch them when I'm coming in or coming out. So, um, but that's why we and, and when we do do events, we do show the kids appreciation. Yeah. So we do make up for it. But a lot of times when I'm in that train mode, it it, it, it may slip it, but it never go unnoticed. What? Tell me, tell me a little bit about the gym, man. What what is the the feel? For the gym, this the gym kind of reminds me of that old high school feel. Oh yeah, man, it smells like it too, man. Like yeah. I tell people, yeah. man, like man, it's a dog house, man. Like, like, I don't want nothing pretty. Right, pretty about the gym. right. Like um, even even the day when I found out I was having the, uh, we was doing the interview, I was like, I, I was like, I really didn't want to dress to impress. Right. <laughs> I said, I don't even look so. I, and that's the mindset about gym. Right. Um, we don't want nothing to be pretty, but I work. Right. Um. And we want you to respect us. Like, and they always say first impression is everything, but to us, first impression is everything, but our work is our first impression. Yeah, for um, sure. And then after you get that, man, then you get everything else that come with it. Like, our gym is a real tight brotherhood. Right. And, um, and I've been here I've been here five years, um, man, and it's not like it, man. I didn't play, like, I didn't did a lot of sports, and I got a lot of good friends um, that I play sports with, mostly football, and um, and it's right up there with them, man. And um, we got a good, good trainer, good coach. 
good team behind us and we all push each other. Um, so, man, it's a real good brotherhood, man. I recommend anybody um, that, that want to get their kids in boxing and, and, and want to be around people that care about it um, just as much as they do. Um, come down here, man. Come down here to the gym, man. We, we, we get you some work. You, you hear the man. Going, man. The jackhammer said, come down come to, the, to gym, the gym, man. And like you're going to get that work. You're going to get some good work. You're going to get that work. And if you're a boxer, if you come down here to spa, you're going to still get that work. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your training, man. What, uh, what, what, so what is a day of training like from you, from the time you wake up into the time you come to the gym? If you're training that whole day, what, what is the training? I'm training that whole day. I like to wake up. Um, I like to get a run in. Um, but lately I kind of, I still get my run in, but lately I've been transitioning subs in my run out with jump rope. Okay. Um, just for the rhythm, standing on my feet, turning my, turning my hands over and standing on my toes. Um, and I train, man, I, I, I train six, seven days a week, and I put a lot on my body. Sometimes they can be good, and sometimes it can't. Um, but what I have learned is how to adjust it. Because um, lately, uh, when I, especially when I first started training, I, was, I would always be like, okay, if I go in there a little bit drained, and my opponent know I'm coming, but he doing whatever he can do to prepare for me, and I always say, okay, as long as I keep up with him. But then I had, to, I had to realize, okay, that's not the right way. You go in there 100%. Um, at least close to 100%. Don't 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 give your man up a hand. Um, so I kind of I kind of adjust my training as I learn and adapt, learn and adapt to things. I, I had to adjust my training to figure out I don't always have to work hard to 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 prove a point to myself because um, I, I like to play catch up. Right. Um, and I like to play catch up because I feel like if I'm always catching up, I'm always working towards something. Um, but I had to figure out like how to adjust with my catch up. My catch up days don't be if I know I got spawn Thursday, so I'm not going. I'm not gonna go all out Wednesday or all out that Thursday morning. Um, but normally, man, but on a typical day when, I, when I'm just training and getting some work in, I like to run, jump, work in the morning. Um, I probably and I always work out about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, especially when I'm in camp, man. When I'm when I when I do my own little camp to myself and um, like I I work out before I come to the gym uh, for about an hour and a half, be in the gym for about two hours, and then once I leave the gym, I work out again for another two hours. Um, but it's all different. It's all different segments on how I break it down. Um, some of it would be like I know when I come to the gym, I'm gonna get the dog work. I already know that. I know I'm gonna get that dog work. I know I'm gonna get that drain work. Uh, but when I'm on my own, I do like a pool workout. Um, I do abs. Uh, sometimes I even I even do mental workouts. Okay. Um, for a skill, visualizing, setting up. Um, so my training, man, I, 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 it's 24 hours of the day. Man. I mean, right now, and right now, I still work. So, um, so literally, when I get off, man, I literally wake up, go to work, train, go to sleep. Um, and even, and even once I get to the point to where I can just, just box in my job, I'm a train. It's like instead of me subbing, instead of me clocking in, yeah, as somebody else, I'll be clocking in at the gym. So <laughs> I'm a workaholic, man. I always just, uh, that, that's just me, man. And, um, and, and, and hopefully. It, it'd be noticeable that I, I work hard because when I leave, I want them to say that was hard work right there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Man. So not only does this guy have the physical physique and the toughness, but he is mentally focused. Mentally focused. And that means a lot. You know, just, just for the fans just hearing how determined you are or whatever and how prepared you are for this fight, man. Man, we excited, man. I am, man. We, I'm, we, I'm, we, I'm, we I'm definitely a, excited. I'm excited too, man. Like, I can't wait, man. It's like, it's like I'm a kid in the candy store. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. We definitely excited. Way in. It's October 23rd. The fight will be October 24th. The Jack Hammer says he's not going to predict a knockout, but the fans want a knockout. We want a knockout. Even if, even if that means the first 30 seconds, his opponent is knocked out. But well, we can live with that because he won the fight. But be here, October 24th. Jack, we appreciate you. Oh, yeah. All right, I want to give a shout-out, a couple of shout-outs. The, uh, the first shout-out I want to give it to is The Screaming, which is Block Born Entertainment. Um, that's the will. He's been here with us from the beginning. I mean, we gladly appreciate him. I'm a good man, so y'all, if y'all ever need any type of video editing, most definitely reach out to him. I also want to give a shout out to my coach, trainer, Lumpkin Promotions. 
Oh man, man, if you want to, if you just want to be good at boxing, man, even if you want to protect yourself, self defense, come on down to this gym. <laughs> um, and I also myself as well, um, Brandon Jackson Promotions. Um, hey, we all a brand, um, and, and the brand gonna speak for itself. We are gonna carry it well, and we all a team, man. So hey, we 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 hit all areas. Um, you do any promotion? No promotion. October twenty fourth. <laughs> be here for lumpy promotion. <laughs> hey, that's what it is, man. But thank y'all, man. Y'all most definitely gonna get a good show. Uh, you don't want to miss it. And, man, we've been working hard, and we'll continue to work hard. And this is just the beginning of what we got coming for y'all. That's what it is. <laughs>